Well, coming up today, we've got a jam-packed show for you. First of all, we're going to take a look at some job opportunities, and not only some job opportunities, but getting ready to get that job. And then, of course, it's fall, so we're back at a lot of places to enjoy good family fun. Grab that cup of coffee, stay with us. You don't want to miss one minute of today's show. a new career that's not only great pain but also rewarding? Why not check out Aldi? Brianna told me more about the positions that are available and also a hiring event that you can attend. Brianna, what type of positions is Aldi hiring for? Well, we're hiring for store associates in the greater Columbus market. The pay for that is $12.50 per hour for store associates. And we're also hiring for manager trainees. They make $23 an hour, so it's around $50,000 a year once you add in some overtime. So are there benefits? Yes, we offer full medical, dental, and vision as long as our associates average at least 25 hours a week. So that's a great benefit for them. We also have paid vacation, paid holidays, and a 401k plan. So what are the requirements to work here? To work for Aldi, candidates need to have a high school diploma. We also require flexible availability. And our employees need to be able to lift 45 pounds. It's kind of like a paid workout working here. Store associates ring out customers, stock and clean all at the same time. And we're also, most importantly, looking for employees who can provide provide excellent customer service to our customers. How can they apply? We have two events coming up that we would love for applicants to come visit. We will be at our Delaware location and also we will be at our Whitehall location on Saturday 1017 from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. So you should apply in person there. Okay, fantastic. Well, what else is new for Aldi in the greater Columbus area? Well, we're excited about our grand reopening of our Bethel and Sawmill Road location. That's going to be on Thursday, November the 5th. So if people come out and, and check out the new beautiful store, they'll have a chance to win produce for a year. And also the first 100 people will have a chance to get a golden ticket, and they'll be able to exchange that for gift certificates. That sounds exciting. How can we find out more information about Aldi? Visit www.aldi.us, and for careers, you can click on the Careers tab. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. You can win hot tickets to some of the best attractions like Haunted Fest, Circle S Farms, and the Haunted Farm. Just go to the Out and About Facebook page and enter right now. Columbus Realtors is a professional trade association comprised of over 6,800 real estate professionals engaged in residential sales and leasing, commercial sales and leasing, property management, appraisal, consultation, real estate syndication, land development, and more. We learned more about the steps you need to take to become a Realtor from Kathy Shifflett. The day in the life of a Realtor can be very exciting. Um, never ever are there two days that are exactly the same. You start out with an agenda and something may happen. Um, a new house, because our market is very on fire right now, may have come on the market and you got to get your buyer in there. So you have to drop everything and go. You have to be accessible during the nine to five hours to meet the banks and the title companies. But then you have to be available on at evenings and weekends because that's when your clients are available. Some people are awesome and they try to take off their, their lunch hours because it's important, you know, this is their dream, you know. Home ownership is, is such a privilege in the United States, so it's great if they can take off. But some people can't because they want they don't have that luxury or they have to wait till they move in because they may be purchasing a home that they need to make to their taste. Um, people get a real estate license in the state of Ohio by obtaining 120 hours of education from an institution of higher learning. In order to um, take the exam in the state of Ohio, you have to be affiliated with a broker. And to how to pick a broker is up to you. I would suggest interviewing numerous ones to find the best fit for you. Um, a lot of the institutions of higher learning have career nights and local brokerages bring their managers and or the brokers themselves go and they actually basically try to recruit you. So you got to pick the best fit. So I would suggest visiting an office, talking to them, doing your career nights and see which one is the best fit for you. Oh, you can go to our website, which is ColumbusRealtors.com, and you can even call. A lot of realtors are very open to um, questions when it comes to, like, how, how do I do this or how do you work your day? Um, so we're always very responsive. 
stay up to date on the latest events and information by visiting onacolumbus.com. It's easy to catch up on previous episodes, guests, upcoming event info, and so much more. onacolumbus.com. Well, it's officially fall. Time to break out those sweaters and boots. But if your fall wardrobe needs a bit of updating, we found a place that can not only do it with style, they can do it affordably. Vicki and I talked more about their wide selection and how they can even help you with your work wardrobe. We're getting our wardrobes ready for fall. How can you guys help here? We have been getting in so much fantastic fall merchandise, coats, boots, accessories, scarves, gloves, um, lots of great sweaters. We're very excited to and I understand you have an outfit here um, that is representing a typical fall look that you have here. And tell us about that. Our model is Anna Yelly, and she is completely done in DFWH apparel. She is wearing a sweater, coat, a scarf, jeans, boots, and a handbag, all for $112. Yeah, well, you guys have it all here. Let's talk about the looks you put together for us okay. for career. Great. Um, well, Danny is modeling um, a great two-piece suit with a shirt and tie, and his entire look is under $100, and that's the slack, the shirt, the jacket, and the tie. Wow. And Janelle is modeling a look for the ladies, and she has a jacket, a blouse, skirt, shoes, and bag for right around $50. I understand you guys also offer employment right now. Tell us about your career opportunities. Well, we are growing like crazy. We just opened our fifth store in Kettering, Ohio, which is just south of Dayton. So there are some employment opportunities there if you're in the Dayton area. We also have at our four Columbus locations, sales associate positions, and also merchandise processors. How can we find out more information about DFWH? Absolutely. The best way is to come into the stores. You won't believe your eyes when you see our organized treasure chest. But you can also check us out on the web, dfwh.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Whether you need assistance with your resume or you are in need of life or career coaching, LeGrand Resume has the experience and knowledge necessary to help you get to the next stage of your life and career. Patricia LeGrand told us more about the services LeGrand Resume offers to their clients. Uh, in addition to resume writing, we offer career coaching, life coaching, we also offer computer training so people could brush up on those computer skills. Uh, we also have outplacement uh, services for if somebody is let go at a job, we help the person to uh, get back into the workforce and get off to a good, strong start. With career coaching, perhaps you are ready to go to that next level at your job. Perhaps you don't feel you have the satisfaction in your current job that you should or that you desire. Perhaps you're in the wrong field altogether. Uh, perhaps you're looking for employment. So with career coaching, we actually can, uh, through a series of assessments, we can help you find your vocation, find greater satisfaction in work, and also to be uh, more productive. Our life coaching services also include something similar because there may be some issues with our uh, personal lives that's impacting our professional lives. So we help with uh, life coaching sessions can also help you again take that career to the next level. So the coaching is important and it is for everyday people uh, that are looking again to do better, to do more, to find more fulfillment. For LeGrand Resumes, we have a website, legrandresume.com, and that's L E G R A N D R E S U M E.com, and that'll give you complete information as far as our loca location and the services that we offer. Uh, we're also available by phone. Um, 440-213-1350 is the main number. Uh, you can also email us, service at legrandresume.com. Well, quality IT training can give you a wonderful career and a great income. And that quality training would come from New Horizons Computer Learning. We had an opportunity to talk to Brooke and Katrina about how your educational future is right here. Tell us what New Horizons does. New Horizons is a IT learning training facility and we offer anything you can possibly think of as far as IT training. We offer certifications and 
all kind of IT training yeah. too. Now, when you talk about certification, you know, I see these Microsoft certificates. Is that is that what you mean? Yes, we offer Microsoft. We offer we're partners with Cisco. We also offer ITIL, VMware, and so many other IT services. Now, who is your target audience? Who who do you go after? Historically, New Horizons was a business to business company where we would provide training to different organizations. However, Probably in the last 10 years, we've also opened it up to individuals that want to enhance their IT certifications, IT training. We also target those that are underemployed, unemployed, as well as veterans. And with that being said, we also work with um, organizations that do help with providing um, IT training dollars for that as well. And veterans can also use their um, GI benefits. Well, Brooke, I want to turn to you now because education is great, but at the end of it, if you can't find a job, it doesn't help much. So I know you guys are big in career placement. So when you have New Horizons Computer Learning Center on your resume, um, companies look at that and say, you know, we've trusted them with training our employees. So um, we know that they have the proper training that's necessary uh, to be successful, successful at our company. Well, of course, Brooke, the key question is how do we get more information about New Horizons? Um, you can visit our website at www.nhcentral.com and you can also come to our Polaris location if you decide to walk in. Um, and then, then at that time, I am more than happy to make an appointment for you to speak with an education consultant to talk about your career path. And um, Katrina would be one of those. And we also have Bill here. You can win hot tickets to some of the best attractions like Haunted Fest, Circo S Farms, and the Haunted Farm. Farm. Just go to the Out and About Facebook page and enter right now. The financial and IT industries are booming, and Baco can help you get in touch with your next great career opportunity. We learn more about the positions Vaco has open and how you can get more information from Brian Steele. So, Brian, tell me a little bit about Vaco. Vaco was founded in Nashville, Tennessee, 10 years ago, and we were founded here in Columbus four years ago, and we focus on information technology and finance and accounting professionals, both on a project basis as well as full-time. Who are the people you are looking for, and what type of positions are you looking for? Yeah, the market is as hot as I've seen it in a long time. The types of people that we are looking for are on the finance and accounting side, we typically look for folks from accounting operations, which is payroll folks, uh, folks accounts receivable experience, all the way up through CFO. And then on the information technology side, both on a project basis as well as full time, we recruit for level one help desk up through CIO, and then in between project managers, network engineers, and developers. Tell me about your staff. What makes them so special? Yeah, well, we, I'd like to think that we have the funnest and the best in the industry. We hire people that are extremely energetic and then most everyone is industry professionals that uh, are that came out of finance and accounting or have information technology backgrounds and we look pe for people that have tons of energy that like to make a lot of money and like to help solve problems for our clients. Well, how can we find out more information? The easiest way to find us is to go to our website, which is www.vaco.com slash Columbus, or you can simply just call our office and Abigail, our office manager, can connect you to the appropriate recruiter or account executive. And that number is 614-498-9000. Check out these businesses in our local business spotlight. We're at one of Columbus's newest hot spots for comfort food with an edge and also entertainment. We're at Copious in downtown Columbus in the Brewery District. We learned more about Copious and their nightclub notes at Copious from Michael. So Michael, what made you decide to enter in such a broad venture with a restaurant, nightclub, and event space? It's really an evolution. Uh, we originally started looking for a uh, restaurant that could have a little bit of music uh, to accent it. Uh, when we were looking around, we found this beautiful building. And we let the building speak to us. You know, and we walked downstairs and immediately said, this is an underground nightclub. It just had this really cool vibe. And then there was plenty of space uh, here for uh, 
uh, for the restaurant, obviously, uh, actually a lot of space. Uh, and then uh, we looked at uh, upstairs, and a lot of events still need to be had in Columbus. A lot of people are looking for spots, so let's make it into a, a place where people can come and have weddings, uh, celebrations, corporate functions, and, and make that happen. What type of cuisine do you have here for the restaurant and the uh, event space? Uh, the cuisine I like to call uh, comfort food with an edge. Uh, so it's food that you'll recognize at home. We'll have uh, uh, deviled duck eggs on the menu. So I think that's a perfect example. Everybody's familiar with deviled eggs, but we're using duck egg instead with, uh, with duck bacon as well. So what's going to be going on downstairs at Notes at Copious, the nightclub? So food-wise, Notes at Copious will be uh, a little bit of an extension of this menu using all very local uh, fresh ingredients, but a small, small, small plate. So we'll have uh, flatbreads, sliders, uh, appetizers. So things that are a little bit easier to eat in a more casual setting. So how can we find out more information and possibly make a reservation? Sure. Uh, you please go to uh, copiouscolumbus.com, and there you can find information about the menu, uh, the events that we're having, the music. You can make a reservation. You can buy tickets online. Do you enjoy the local music scene? Then visit the featured music page on onacolumbus.com for interviews and information on some of Columbus's best musical acts. Well, we talked about the hottest party in town today with Zach Rubin. We're talking about the Honda Fest. That's coming up at the end of the month. Find out who's going to be there, and we're going to tell you a whole lot more about this event. Big crowds, and they even had to move it just to house it. So for people who haven't attended this, and I know you're in your second year of this, give us a uh, kind of a thumbnail sketch of what people are going to find. Haunted Fest was a concept we created last year with Peerless Management Group. It is a one-night Halloween EDM festival. Multiple artists, main stage, crazy production, lights, video, special effects, aerialists, dancers, a silent disco attraction, um, all put into one, you know, crazy night of fun, costume contest, you know, it's Halloween, it's a great excuse to party, and, you know, we're, we're bringing some of the best talent nationally and into Columbus and throwing the biggest party in town. What kind of numbers can we expect to see of something like this? So last year we uh, closed out with about 4,500 attendees from the first year, and um, we're seeing huge uh, spike in sales this year already. We're hoping to hit about six to 8,000 people for this year's event out at the um, fairgrounds at the Expo Center. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Where do you hold something that big? Yeah, so we had to, we, we kind of outgrew the convention center last year, and this year we are at the um, Ohio Expo Center, which is at the fairgrounds. Any name acts that we'd know? Sure. So uh, this year, actually, we have the world's number one DJ um, coming to play the event, Martin Garrix. He is the, I believe he might be 19 now. Um, he's the newest sensation phenom. He's managed by Scooter Braun, who most people know from Justin Bieber's career. Um, and he's now managing Martin Garrix, who is um, the world's number one DJ, youngest, and um, one of the most successful ones out there. Well, Zach, it sounds like the biggest party. It sounds like a great event. Tell us how we get more information. Get tickets to go to this. So visit hauntedfest.com. Um, you can get tickets there. We're also offering um, VIP tickets and VIP table packages um, with bottle service, you know, traditional nightclub style um, service. And, um, you know, it's going to be a great event, 7 p.m. to 2.30 a.m. Friday, October 30th. You can win hot tickets to some of the best attractions like Haunted Fest, Circle S Farms, and the Haunted Farm. Just go to the Out and About Facebook page and enter right now. Well, you know, Ethel wants to invite you down on the farm, and that's where we're at. It's the Circle S Farms. Plenty to do for the whole family here. They have a pumpkin patch, a fun barn, a corn maze, just lots of fun things to do and come and spend the day. We learn more about it from Ethel. Yeah, the Circle S Farms. You guys do some neat things down here. I really love coming down here. Let's talk a little bit about what you have this year, what people are going to find when they come down to Circle S Farms. Well, you know, when they come down, this is our 35th pumpkin year. We have our traditional hay rides. And you go right out to the field and pick the pumpkin as it grows. We have the fun barn. We have the petting zoo. We have the sunflower maze, the corn maze, have a cave for little kids. And we have the pumpkin cafe where we have all kind of food. On the weekends, we have lunch every day through the week. And, of course, we're famous for our pumpkin donuts. Uh, the bakery, we've had the bakery for, the, for 35 years also doing pumpkin donuts. Here in 35 years, it would lead one to ask the question, what got you doing this? We decided that we wanted to price our own products on the farm instead of somebody saying, this is what I'll give you. We wanted to teach children about agriculture. Uh, it's uh, Ohio's number one industry is agriculture and there's a lot of kids that just don't know what happens down on the farm. I grew up on a dairy farm and the fun barn come out of my friends and I growing up on the farm 
building a fort in the barn. And so that's what we did, and we call it Make a Memory, Make a Tradition. And people say, gee, is there enough out there to entertain my kids? And it's like I've never seen a child lead a fun barn saying, I'm bored, I want to go home. So a good, good thing to keep an eye on Circle West Farm to see what you guys are doing, right? Yes, you never know what's going to happen here on the farm. And how do we do that? Uh, our uh, farm number is 614 Eight seven eight nine four six two. We do have the web page, uh, circlesfarm.com. Fantastic, Ethel. Good to see you again. Thanks Thank so much you. for being back on the show. Thank you. Well, apple cider and live music is just some of the things you can come out here and find at the haunted farm. This family-friendly haunt is fantastic. We talked to Nick Hicks, where we learn more. And every year, this gets to see we get to see something new. And and I know you've changed some things here. Tell us a little bit about what's happening. We've uh, really updated most of our scenes and uh, the intricate intricate details to everything that we've got going on. We've really taken that and put that to our main perspective, so that we can make everybody see, you know, that this is real. This is a real farm, and this is what people want to come see is real stuff, not something that doesn't fit to your scheme that you got going on here. Yeah. You, you know, you guys have done this for how many years now? 16. Yeah. So you know what you're doing. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's 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 come kind of firsthand for us now. It's all really, really easy anymore. So what do you think the, the scariest part of the haunted farm is? I'd say the most intense and scary part of the barn is haunted farm is probably the barn i mean it's the most upbeat and high intensity and get your get your blood and everything rolling real good i mean it's by far probably the scariest thing in here well let's talk about some of the concessions and some of the events i know one of the big things uh, is you got live music here yeah yeah we uh we have a little shop called the crow's nest and uh you got your apple ciders and your different foods and uh glow bracelets for if the kids are a little too scared then you know our actors know about that and uh your pops and all hot chocolate marshmallows and stuff and then you got live bands like uh seven cycle and cross Alder coming in seven cycles comes in this weekend i do believe that's saturday so they'll be in here and they're also scheduled for halloween so you can have a friendly experience enjoy some live music drink some cider have a good time oh yeah it's it's a good time for the family and i mean like we said we try to cater our event to age groups so all kids can come see it not just kids that are 13 and and older you know what i mean if you want to bring a six-year-old in here i feel as though you should have the right to bring a six-year-old in here and them have much fun as you yeah, so absolutely well where do we learn more information about the haunted farm uh, you can learn it at uh, haunted-farm.com you can win hot tickets to some of the best attractions like Haunted Fest, Circle S Farms, and the Haunted Farm. Just go to the Out and About Facebook page and enter right now. Well, the Orchard Company in Plain City has plenty for the family to do. And on top of it all, you can come out and pick a bag of apples. This place is just phenomenal. Open on the weekends. We learn more from John Scully. Let's talk about the Fall Festival. I know that's going on right now and what kind of activities you have for the kids. Well, right now, uh, through the weekends in October, we have a uh, jump pillow, a zip line, uh, pedal cars, a big tire mountain for the kids to climb on, corn box with hay in it for them to play in, get kind of dirty, the animal barn, and also tractor rides. A lot for the family to do when they come out. Right, a lot for the family and a lot of stuff that you can do with your kids too. Everything is something that you can do with them. It's not only focused for the kids. Yeah. You can come out and pick apples, right? Right, we do you pick. Um, through probably about the middle of October until the apples last, uh, you can come out, you can buy a bag, and go pick your own apples. Yeah. And what variety of apples do you find out here? We have about 12 different varieties. Um, Honeycrisp, Gala, uh, John and Mac, uh, Smoothie, which is a Gold Delicious variety, um, John and Gold, Red Delicious, uh, Fuji, um, just a little bit of everything. Yeah. So there's families that come out um, and they stay for the day, they play, they pick some apples. Um, we have a cafe. Um, where they can sit down and have lunch, get some cider, uh, plenty of desserts. We do all home cooked food. Uh, it's all grandma's recipe, um, pulled chicken, uh, pulled pork. Beef. I saw you had a smoker over there. Yeah, yeah, we, we actually smoke all of our own meats, um, apple smoked. Um, of naturally, uh -huh. so it, it's really good. So, what kind of hours are you keeping now for uh, to come out and see this? Right now, it's Saturdays and Sundays from eleven to six. Um, Anytime between then. Okay. And where do we get more information? How do we find you? All that good stuff. You can check us out on the web at www.theorchardandcompany.com. Fantastic. John, I'll tell you, man, this place is a blast. It's great coming out here. Well, thanks for coming out. 
Ohio is known for its many haunted places, but nothing could be more terrifying as the 50-acre farm located off a Duncan Run Road in Philo. The Forest of Fright is a must-see haunted attraction in Musk Kingdom County. The drive to the haunted house gives you an eerie feeling along one-lane roads that drive deeper and deeper into the woods. Forest of Fright utilizes a local legend and enhances it with all the factors to scare you. Legends say there was a very wealthy couple that lived at the farm in the mid-1800s. Mr. and Mrs. Duncan purchased the sprawling property and built a beautiful farmhouse on the hillside to raise their daughter, Carrie. Carrie suffered from mental illness, and the Duncans thought that if they kept her away from society, it would save her from being ridiculed and tormented by the townspeople. Mr. Duncan was a businessman and traveled frequently. Very often, Mrs. Duncan accompanied him on the long trips. Their daughter, Carrie, was left in the care of the servants of the house. The servants, unable to cope with Carrie's fit of rage, would lock her in the basement. In order to keep her quiet, they would bring her unsuspecting playmates from in town. Nobody really knows the true story, but all that remains on the hillside of Duncan Run Road are Carrie's basement playrooms and the elevator that led to the basement, which townspeople now call the elevator. The dead bellhop will give you a ride in the elevator, walk in Carrie's playhouse, toxic tear butcher shack, see what awaits you in the asylum on the hillside. Bloodthirsty hillbilly clowns are waiting for you. Expect the unexpected when you walk into the dark, foggy maze as you try and find your way out. For more information about the Forest of Fright, you can visit their website at forestoffright.org. Well, if you're looking for the perfect, peaceful, relaxing, rustic getaway, but still want all the comforts of home, then Hickory Hideaway Cabins is the perfect place for you. Dirk told me more about their activities, hiking trails, and new couples-only cabin. How did you get started in this business? Well, we've owned the land here on the site at Hickory Hideaway for about 15 years. There's 100 acres of rolling hardwoods. It was originally part of our family farm. My grandfather purchased 180 acres back in the 60s. He ran a church camp here until his passing in the 90s. And then we were fortunate enough to buy that in the late 90s, used it for family recreation and that type of thing. And then in pursuit of a lifelong dream to open our own getaway cabin rental business, we decided to uh, build the Richmond and we completed it in the spring of 2014 and began taking reservations at that time. Well, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, you can tell the quality that you put into building this. Well, thank you. Yeah, the, the Richmond is constructed of 100% Amish materials to include furniture and flooring. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It accommodates up to eight guests. We have uh, the master suite is located upstairs. It's got an adjoining private bath with jacuzzi tub. Just outside is a sitting room with a balcony that overlooks. It provides a great overhead view of the gas stone fireplace, the great room, the dining area below. And then of course you can look out the windows to the, the trapezoid windows to the north and enjoy a great scenic view there as well. So this is your only cabin right now, but I understand you're in the process of wrapping up construction on your second cabin. Tell us about that. Yeah, that's right, Renee. Um, really based on customer requests for a couples only cabin. We began uh, construction this spring. It is a similar layout to the Richmond, not quite as big, a single floor, uh, one bedroom, one bath, vaulted ceilings throughout, but uh, very, very similar amenities uh, and accommodations that we have here at the Richmond. Well, how can we find out more information? Well, you can uh, book directly on our website at hickoryhideawaycabins.com, or you can call me directly at 740-438-8688. Oh, 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 oh,